Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are going to discuss today uh, statistics and uh, in particular we are going to discuss today variance. What is variance in standard deviation? So let us discuss variance. We have discussed mean deviation about mean and median in which we have taken absolute value so that the variance uh, overall mean deviation cannot be zero because uh, some positive and some negative value will come up and um, to measure the variance we had taken the modulus there is another method in which we can avoid this uh, negative sign uh, instead of taking this modulus sign we can square the variance square the difference square the deviations and then we can find this so whenever we aspire to just uh, um, ignore the negative sign and we can find it as a variance and if the variance is zero it means uh, the there is no dispersion so this conclusion can be derived from uh, this and let us start this variance and standard deviation variance and standard deviation variance Variance, there are two types of variance. One, variance of ungrouped data, variance of discrete data, discrete data, right? When data are discrete, for example, um, if x1, x2, x3 up to xn are n observation, n observation, then variance of this data can be calculated as uh, variance symbolic representation is sigma square this is called variance variance sigma square is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar whole square you know, and whole divided by n so either we can write this side here. this is the one formula when various of variance of discrete data can be determined and a standard deviation simultaneously we can derive because this will be a square and uh, this will be a square so unit of this variance and unit of mean and unit of x1 x2 x3 are will be different because of this square nature so make it a square root to find a standard deviation and therefore a standard deviation is a standard deviation is nothing else but a square root of variance a sigma a sigma means a square root of this sigma square is under root of variance right under root of variance so therefore a standard deviation is nothing else but under root of variance and therefore sigma is equal to under root of 1 by n sigma xi minus x bar whole square where i is equal to 1 to n so this is what a standard deviation and variance now let us calculate some questions on the basis of that we will decide whether the this variance and what this reveal if uh, say the variance if variance is zero variance of any data is zero in this this employee 1 by n sigma x i minus x bar whole square is equal to zero this employee xi minus x bar whole square is equal to 0. This employee x1 minus x bar is 0. x2 minus x bar is also 0 right now. And x3 minus x bar is also 0. Because each one of them is 0. Why? Because sum of, let me write here. x3 minus x bar is also 0. Right now. And in this case, which means x1 minus x bar is 0, x2 minus x bar is also 0, right now, and x3 minus x bar is also 0, and similarly xn minus x bar is also 0. So all of x1, x2, x3 is concentrated at, therefore, x1 is equal to x2 is equal to x3 is equal to and xn, and that is all equal to x bar. That is concentration of all data that is concentration of all observation all concentration of all observation is all observation observation 
is at mean mean right now and therefore no dispersion of data no dispersion dispersion of data about me about me right now. so we can say like this now uh, let us solve some question and on the basis of that we will discuss uh, some questions as, uh, some explanation as well so first question i am going to take on today uh, is a question from your book and that is from exercise 15.2 and this is first question from the exercise 15.2 very first question is given here find the mean and variance of the data find the mean and variance of the data mean and variance of the data of the data right now and data is given like 6 7 10 6 7 10 12 13 12 13 4 8 and 12 right so first of all we will calculate the mean of the data and mean of the data can be calculated as x bar mean x bar is sigma xi upon n right now so that is why 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13 plus 4 plus 8 plus 12 divided by 8 right now divided by 8 so that will be 12 plus 20 20 and 25 is 45 plus 4 49 49 plus 10 59 59 plus 6 age 65 and 7 72 and divided by 8 that is 9 so mean is 9 now variance can be calculated as therefore variance is xi minus x bar whole square so 6 minus 9 whole square plus 7 minus 9 whole square plus 10 minus 9 whole square plus 12 minus 9 whole square isn't it plus 13 minus 9 whole square plus 4 minus 9 whole square 4 minus 9 whole square plus 8 minus 9 whole square right and plus 12 minus 9 whole square this is the sum divided by 8 this is the variance so here therefore this will be the sum will be 3 6 minus 9 is 3 3 square is 9 plus here 2 square is 4 plus 1 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 1 plus 3 square is 9 9 1 10 and 10 20 20 and 25 25 is 50 plus 20 50 plus 20 is just 70 and 70 plus 4 is 74 divided by 8 so that will be 74 divided by 8 which will be answered as 9.25 right so that would be the variance so variance is mean is 9 and the variance is 9.25 variance is 9.25 so this is uh, the calculation um, and you will be able to say that variance is uh, the variation of data is very close to mean and therefore least dispersion of the data least dispersion of the data okay we have learned that variance of discrete data how can be uh, obtained now let us learn when the some frequencies are given that is uh, variance of data uh, uh, with uh, frequencies when classified then how can you find it so the second type of this is variance of data variance of classified data variance of the party variance of classified data classified data right so in that case how to calculate the variance in that case variance is given as uh, let me write this some theory if x1 x2 x3 up to xn are in observation observation with frequencies frequencies 
f1 f2 f3 up to fn respectively then variance can be calculated as variance sigma square can be calculated as what that is a sigma summation of i is equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar whole square multiply by f i divided by sigma f i sigma f i is nothing else but n total number of data so total number of data where n h nothing else but sigma f i total frequency total frequency right frequency so this is what we can do that so now let us uh, solve one question on the basis of that we'll be able to analyze this how to find find the variance mean and variance of the data question is find the mean and variance of data mean and variance of the following data following data right so let us uh, write the data and for this i am going to make a table and two four six eight two four six eight so two four six and eight i'm going to take on this and uh, let me fill it so the data is given 16 16 14 18 14 18 and uh, 24 24 28 and 30 this is given discrete data although not continuous discontinuous data but frequencies are given that there is 2 4 7 2 4 7 12 8 4 12 8 4 and 3 so we have to find mean and variance so first you have to calculate mean so let me draw a comprehensive table for it and there are two discuss. So let us find solution. Solution uh, for solution. Um, this comprehensive table. See the following table H XI FI FI XI and this X minus X bar and then X minus X bar whole square. Right now that we need to calculate. Now the data are given 16, 14. 6 10 14 and 18 28 30 28 and 30 they are 2 4 6 1 2 2 4 6 okay now frequencies are given 2 4 2 4 7 12 7 12 8 4 3 8 4 and 3 so might be some missing data here. 16, 14, 18, 24, 28, 30. 24, 28, 30. Okay. So this is 24, 28, 30. 24, this is 28 and 30. Now we can find a mean can be find out by using sigma fx upon sigma f, isn't it? Or you can use shortcut method as well. But let me do this 12, 40 and 98 and this is 216 right now and this will be 24 8 charge, 4 charge 192 192 28 4 charge, 50, 612 right and this is uh, 33 charge, 90 so sigma fi is equal to n is nothing else but sigma fi and that is nothing else but 2, 4, 6, and 7, 13, and 12, 25, 25, and 12, 3, 15, that is 40. And this will be uh, 2 plus 2, 8, 2, 10, 16, 16, and 2, 18, and 2, 20, carry 2, 1, 3, and 4, 7, 7, and 9, 16, and 17, and 9, 26 and 26 27 and 9 36 6 carry 3 3 and 2 5 and 1 6 and 7 760 that is sigma fi xi so we can write sigma xi fi 760 sigma 
xi fi sigma fx xi fi is equal to 760 now x minus x bar so x bar first we have to calculate and therefore mean is equal to x bar that is uh, sigma xi fi or fi xi upon sigma fi so that is 760 divided by 40 is equal to 19 so mean is 19 nothing else but 19 now xi minus 19 so 6 minus 19 is minus 13 10 minus 19 is minus 9 14 minus 5 this is minus 1 this is 5 this is 9 and this is 11 and now a square of this is 169 81 25 1 so 25 again and this is 81 again and this is 121 so now sum of all these sigma xi minus x bar whole square is equal to 1 so that will come 9 1 10 15 16 plus 5 21 22 23 carry 2 and 6 to 8 at 16 20 18 18 20 28 and 30 0 at 3 carry 3 1 4 and 1 5 5 0 3 and therefore mean deviation is equal to variance is equal to therefore you can write variance variance is equal to variance sigma square is equal to sigma x i minus x bar and frequency is also given here no? so let me write one more table so we did some more calculations here and f i x i minus x bar whole square only more extra table i have did, did it f i multiply by this x i minus x bar whole square and that is 1736 in the total sum and therefore variance is equal to this whole square f i into fi right now divided by n total so that will be nothing else but 1736 divided by 40 and 4 can cancel as 4 4 the 16 1 4 3 is 12 and 4 4 the 16 so this will be 43.4 and that will be the answer of this question so 43.4 is the various i hope you got it right now so this is a uh, uh, variance of um, what you say that is a classified data okay instead of finding and to avoid the calculation variance can be also calculated by another method alternative method a variance can be calculated for this type of data variance sigma square can be calculated as sigma fi xi square upon n minus sigma fi xi upon n whole square right now that is the way or even you can write it because taking lcm there will be n square so this is nothing else but x bar now so x bar so instead of x bar i have written this one and this can be also written like 1 by 10 times of 1 by n into this can be written like 1 by n into um n times of sigma fi xi square minus sigma fi xi whole square right because n square is there and divided by n square would be lcm so n square i can write here n square whenever we have to find a standard deviation then a, this will be in square root and this n will come out so standard deviation can be obtained like a standard deviation therefore a standard deviation deviation is under root of variance and therefore this type of formula will come right now this type of formula will come and you will be able to do this right so this is what the standard deviation sigma so we can use this whenever we have need to find variance and standard deviation let us discuss one question on the basis of that we will uh, use this where we will use this formula or i can use the same question even for finding this mean and variance so so that you can verify that both the things are same so let me do the same question or should i do the another question 
So I am taking the same question here and n is 40 uh, as we discussed here in the previous question and uh, n is 40 so here n will be 40. Now we can write it that is sigma f5 sigma f5 that is n is 40. f i x i is 12 40 98 12 40 98 we can write it f i x i is 12 40 98 isn't it and then uh, it is given that 216, 192, 216, 192, 192, 216, and 90. Right? So these are two data. I hope you remember this. 112 and 90. 112 and 90. This is not 116, 112 and 90. So uh, this is all. Uh, you got it? Now x square. That can be written here 36. This is 100, this is 156, 196, right now, and this is 324, 324, that is 576, 28 square is 784, and 30 square is 900. Now we have to multiply with a 5 xi square, that will be 72, this is 400, and this is, uh, let me complete this, and just pause this slide. So we have calculated this and this is sigma fi xi whole square and sigma fi xi earlier calculated is 760 and n is 40 everything has been calculated now find variance is equal to using that variance is equal to the four variance sigma square is equal to um, sigma fi xi whole square minus sigma fi xi by n whole square unit divided by n this is a formula so we can put the sigma f i x i whole square 17176 divided by 40 minus sigma f i x i 760 divided by 40 whole square simple thing so this can come here like uh, if you divide by 4 4 4 they are 16 0 4 4 they are 16 and 1 4 4 they are 16 and this is 404.4 right now so we can write it 404.4 uh, and this is 19 19 whole square is 404.4 and this is 19 0 0 cancel and this will be 19 times 19 square is 361 so 404.4 minus 61 will be equal to 4 minus 1 is 3.4 and this is uh, 10 minus 6 is what 4 so 43.4 that will be the variance this is what we have derived earlier also they see this is the 43.4 so you can use any one of this method now just let me write a question method two for this find the variance mean and variance of following data so mean and variance can be obtained by following so this is all about this uh, mean and variance of the following data can be calculated by other method as well but this is a lengthy here calculation is too big so there is a shortcut method in which we can deal with such situations and when the data are continuous you can use shortcut method to find the standard deviation and here if you have to find although it was not given if you have to find the standard deviation then a standard deviation is st sigma that is under root of variance and in that case you will calculate it under root of 43.4 then you will be able to get it the variance of the data which is 6.58 now let us discuss variance of continuous data so the next topic is variance of continuous data variance and standard deviation standard deviation deviation of continuous data continuous data. continuous data right variance of continuous data so how to calculate this there is a formula that we can use the shortcut method it is called shortcut method shortcut method and in this method what is the way to find out variance is equal to variance sigma square is equal to h square into 
hz square input hz square into a phi sigma sigma a phi y i whole square divided by n minus sigma a phi y i by n whole square right this is what and therefore a standard deviation is equal to a standard deviation a standard deviation is under root variance and therefore that will be h into by n i can take n square common so h by n can be taken common and under root this will be n times of sigma a phi y i square minus sigma a phi y i square so that can be used for finding a standard deviation and variance let us discuss one question on the basis of this we will analyze whether this formula is uh, easy or not whether it is short cut or long cut so let us discuss one question and i'm taking a question uh, from this that uh, using shortcut method find the mean variance and standard deviation of the following data question is find the variance and standard deviation variance and standard deviation of the following data deviation of the following data following right data so here in the question let me write question class is given class age are given like 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 right now 40 to 50 this is the class and now frequencies corresponding frequencies are given that is frequencies frequencies are given here like uh, 5 8 15 16 5 8 15 16 and 6 this is what given so now we have to calculate this um, here solution this is the solution for solution you have to here find this uh, for variance here y i square what is y i y i i forgot to write here where y i is y i is nothing but x i minus a upon h right now usually you have written uh, this is finding mean by shortcut method you use it now so again uh, this uh, can be written as here is a frequency a phi that is 5 8 15 16 and 6 and here is class interval class interval is given here like 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 now uh, we will have a class mark that is x i is equal to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 so 5 15 25 35 45 like that and now we will uh, take as a uh, zoom mean one of them because this is 5 so middle one can be taken as um, a zoom pin so 25 can be taken as a zoom pin of this right so we can use it 25 as a zoom mean. so this uh, is a zoom mean and we can write this uh, as a so what will happen this is a we can take it as a and now y i is equal to x i minus a upon h that you need to calculate so what will happen here this 0 minus 1 minus 2 this is 1 and 2 it will come automatically i got it earlier you did it also like that so here um, this will come so y a square is equal to 4 this is 1 this is 0 1 and 4 so now if i y i and f i y i square 5 multiplied by 2 is minus 10 8 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 8 15 multiplied by 0 0 16 multiplied by 1 is 16 and 6 multiplied by 2 is 12 now f i y i square 5 4 is 20 and 8 uh, 8 1 is 8 this is 15 into 0 0 16 into 1 that is 16 and 6 into 4 is 24 so now we have a calculation of FIYI. FIYI is equal to this is 16 plus 12 is 10 plus 8 is 18. 
so plus 16 that is minus 2 this will be 10 only right now because 16 plus 12 is 28 minus 18 is 10 now if i y i square is equal to what that is coming here 28 28 and this is a 40 so 40 plus 28 40 plus 28 is 68 so that will come right now now we have sigma fi is what n is sigma fi and sigma fi is nothing else but it 5 13 13 plus 5 18 18 and 6 24 plus 6 30 carry 3 3 1 4 1 5 so this is 50. now using this and we can find variance of the data therefore variance sigma square is equal to using the formula h square by n square or h square we can multiply by this whole side in this way that is sigma a phi y i square divided by n minus sigma a phi y i upon n whole square so you can use this also and in this way what is h here h is 10 length of class interval so it is 100 into a phi y i square is 68 by 50 minus a phi y i is 10 by 50 whole square so further it can be calculated as this is 12.8 13.6 uh, 1.36 right now so this will be 1.36 1.36 minus this will be 1 by 5 1 by 5 whole square is 1 by 25 1 by 25 is 0. Um, 1 by 25 is 0. 0. 0.04 0. 0 0.04 1 by 25 is 0 0.04 0, 0 cancel and 1 by 5 square is 1 by 25 1 by 25 page uh, 0 0.04 so this will come here like uh, uh, 100 into 1.3232 and that will be 132 so 132 will be the variance and now a standard deviation therefore a standard deviation is a standard deviation is under root of variance under root of variance so you can use the directory under root of 132 and what is that under root of 132 is nothing else but 11.5 approx right 11.4 that will be asked. So here variance and standard deviation can be calculated by using this formula. Shortcut I hope you understood it and you have wherever it is required you will do that right now. Some more questions you can practice your own I hope so and definitely you will be able to do that there is no problem at all. So till then bye bye God bless keep watching.